Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the KVCC wood fired oven. The uh, construction around it is a structure that's going up to protect the oven. It will hopefully be done before the snow flies. That's just to let you know what's going on around here. Um, right now, I'm going to show you how to light the fire, the initial fire in the oven, and then we'll come back about three hours later, maybe four hours later. It's pretty cold out right now, and uh, start baking some pizza. So, the main principles to keep in mind are that this oven has a lot of mass in it, and it takes a lot of time to heat up that mass. So from the oven deck down to the ground, that's solid mass. There's some rubble in there, there's a lot of perlite insulation, uh, there's a lot of sand, and just plain dirt in there. Um, and so all of that is needing to absorb the heat that the fire is giving off in order to radiate it back into our pizzas and breads throughout the day. The dome up here is about 8 inches in insulation and that too takes a lot of time to warm up. Um, so that's why we're lighting a fire early in the day and we'll be baking 3 or 4 hours later once the, once the heat is up. So I have some paper crumpled up in here. I'm going to add a little bit more. Newspaper is the best paper to use because it's nice and thin and it lights easily. On top of the paper, I'm going to add some cardboard. And on top of the cardboard, some thin strips of wood. Right here I have cedar shingles that I've broken into pieces. Those are going to light really fast. And as the fire gets going, I'll feed progressively larger pieces of wood onto it. shingles I have a couple pieces of split dimensional lumber that also tends to be really hot and quit burning so I'm going to add those. And with that we're ready to, ready to strike a match. this pretty carefully. Make sure it stays lit. Add it, add some bigger pieces of wood to it. And then for the over the next four hours or so, I'll stay nearby and I'll come give it some more wood every 20 or 30 minutes just to keep the heat going uh, and steady in there. So beyond that, I'll see you in about four hours and we'll bake some pizzas. Okay, so welcome back. It's been about four hours. I think it's about noon now, and we started the fire around eight. Um, it's time to bake pizzas. I have a I have an infrared thermometer that's gonna tell me exactly what the temperature is on the deck of the oven and on the dome, and that temperature reading is. 600 degrees on the deck, which is pretty much exactly where I want it. And 730 degrees on the dome. Um,
650 to 750 is a workable range. Uh, so we're good to go. I'm going to keep the fire going, but it's a fairly small fire, smaller than it was this morning. And I've pushed it to the back of the oven to line the back edges. And while the oven deck is conditioning to not having a fire on it, we're going to roll out some dough. So here's dough. This is a 12 ounce dough ball um, that I made yesterday. Whole wheat flour, white flour, yeast, salt, olive oil, and water. And it's a little bit chilly, so the dough is a little bit difficult to work today, but I usually start by rolling it out with the rolling pin. And when it gets big enough, I'll pick it up in my hands and toss it a little bit and stretch it with my fingers. The key is to get all the air bubbles out, or at least as many air bubbles out as you can. Otherwise, they puff up in the oven and get burned. And I want it big enough to fill this peel, but not to go over the edge at all. That's important. So working the dough might take a little bit. Okay, so our dough is all stretched out and ready. Now I'm going to sprinkle the peel liberally with cornmeal. You need to get it around to all the edges or the pizza dough is going to stick. So next you're going to build your pizza on the peel. Because once it's covered in toppings, you're not going to be able to transfer it. So, pizza dough is ready. It's on the peel. And I'm going to put some uh, red tomato sauce on this one. And I'm going to put some <laughs> spicy pork sausage. I'm going to add some KVCC farm tomatoes. a leaf or two of kale, a sprinkle that is oregano, chives, and garlic, all fresh herbs and garlic, and when I make pizzas, cheese goes on the top to hold everything down. Okay. Take it over to the oven. Push the fire back to the edges. give my pizza a little jiggle on the peel to make sure it's going to slide off. Looks like it is. With one swift motion, shove it into the oven. And then you watch it very intently. 